Welcome back to Fox and Friends on this Sunday morning. Well, the Tea Party has earned its voice in Washington with over 30 movement-backed candidates set to take seats in both the House and the Senate. But will they find conflict or cooperation with their Republican colleagues? Deneen Morelli is a fellow with Project 21 and a Fox News contributor, and she joins us this morning. Deneen, nice to see you. Good morning. So t this morning, we're going to talk about the Tea Party and Republicans. Forget Democrats for this discussion for a moment. I'm curious now, they arrive in Washington. Are they going to be able to affect the kind of change that they talked about when they were out on the campaign trail? You know Washington very well. You get there, it's an entrenched bureaucracy, backroom deals, Republicans used to working with each other this way, that way. Can they come in and change things? Well, my response to you is that they want to get reelected. They need to listen to the will of the American people. And what you have to realize is that the Tea Party movement has come a long way. They've only been out for two years. And early on, the progressives tried to demonize and discredit the Tea Party movement. We were called racist, rednecks, extremists. But look at how the movement has propelled and changed our, our, our process in, in getting uh, representatives in office who will listen to the will of the American people. No, it's a great point because one of the things that it's raised is this conflict perhaps within the GOP and the Tea Party, right? The, it's this contract from America, but they say this grassroots contract that they asked a number of candidates to sign that says we want you to stand on these principles when you get to Washington. But there are a lot of Republicans who didn't sign that and have no interest in signing that, and they have their own agenda. So these Tea Party newbies come in, if you will, and they've got to be able to work together on this. Can they find common ground? Well, listen, the contract from America America is the voice of the American people. They want fiscal responsibility, they want representative leadership, uh, limited government, and free market principles. So this is what our politicians need to realize and recognize that this is what the American people want. Whether they sign the agreement or not, if they want to get reelected again, because the American people are going to be watching, they're going to be holding their feet to the fire to make sure they make decisions and choices that are best for our country. Now, one of the key areas on this contract from America is repeal of health care. Yes. John Boehner, Dick Armey pushing for this big time. They're saying this is one of the key things they're going to try to tackle. But other people wondering whether or not this is a good use of Republicans' time. Should they be focused on other areas where they can affect change? A lot of people say they don't have the votes to get any sort of repeal. But this is the thing. The American people don't want it. Over 50 percent of Americans want it repealed. So they will need to do whatever they need to do, not compromise, not back down. My favorite phrase, no retreat, no surrender. you got to give the American people what they want, especially if they want to stay in office. It'll be interesting to see. January when the Tea Party members arrive in Washington DC and they have to first walk into those meeting rooms and shake hands and see if they can remember what they signed or will they be swept up in this Washington rhetoric. Deneen Borelli, always great to see you. Great to see you too. Thanks. Thanks so much.